uh, that came as a surprise to me and I think everyone at Team Ripple. And, uh, you know, when the SEC decided to bring this lawsuit, despite having been warned by a previous SEC commissioner, uh, you know, there's a massive destruction of value, right? Uh, about $15 billion of value uh, went out of the XRP market. And obviously, you know, many exchanges here in the United States halted trading of XRP. You know, suffice it to say, I think it's very clear that what I said at the very beginning of this, when the SEC announced their intent to bring the lawsuit, I think the SEC is wrong on the facts. I think they're wrong on the law. Uh, I think how we have seen this play out is demonstrating some of that. You know, this is not a, it, I actually agree it has moved, you know, a, a reasonably good clip, you know, but by the same token, the engine of the justice system isn't necessarily, you know, super fast. And so we, we've got a long way to go. I, I remain hopeful that, you know, as time progresses, there'll be additional opportunities to engage the SEC in conversations about what could be a constructive outcome here that's you know provides the clarity uh that frankly ripple and i have sought for a long time and even you know pounded the table about but but also give the entrepreneurs and investors and here in the united states the ability to participate in these markets and continue to grow them here at home you know there have been a couple of pretty consequential rulings from the court in the last uh couple three weeks uh, you know, I think the, to me, the most important one amongst those was the the judge's uh, decision to allow discovery around uh, the SEC's decision to de determine that, to, to publicly state anyway, that Ether is not a security mm -hmm. and that Bitcoin is not a security. Um, and, I, you know, like, I, I think it's even interesting, like why they wouldn't, why they fought that. If we want to provide clarity and transparency to the market, let's provide that. Let's actually do that. I was pleased that you know the, the, the judge ruled in our favor on that. You know, look, I think relative to, as we were just talking about with uh, Jay Clayton as chairman, you know, Gary Gensler comes in as truly, you know, very knowledgeable. I mean, literally he taught the class, uh, you know, I mean, that somewhat tongue in cheek, but somewhat seriously. And so, you know, the fact that he was teaching at MIT about cryptocurrencies and, that, you know, as you have seen, you gave lectures about things like XRP, I think is incredibly valuable to the whole industry. I don't think Jay Clayton deeply understood some of these technologies. Uh, you know, one of the, 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 when they announced, when Bill Hinman announced that Ethereum was not going to be viewed as a security, you know, one of the things he hung that on was this idea around decentralization. And I think they very quickly realized, well, the XRP ledger is, you know, equally, if not more so decentralized. And so that became, well, let's not talk about that anymore. Let's talk about other things. And I think, frankly, back to the discovery, I think, you know, some of those things uh, I expect we will see uh, as we get more and more discovery from the SEC.